All right, welcome to another interior real estate photography tutorial. Today, I'm going to be walking you step by step through each part of the images, the ambient and the flash layer. So what I'm doing now is I'm shooting with one single speed light using a shoot through umbrella. This is the setup I use. Let me see if I can get that down. It's a flash bracket and I have a strap hooked to it so I can just uh, throw it over my shoulder. But it's just a small, like, I don't know, 24 inch umbrella, really any white shoot through umbrella is going to work for this if you get them too big like 48 inch now you're starting it's going to be more of a hassle trying to get it through doorways and everything else so i'm trying to find the smallest one possible and uh literally just a simple small standard godox speed light with a trigger and i'll link everything in the description but i put my um x1t trigger on my camera and then the my wireless trigger on top of that and then I had the remote for that trigger so I can be away from the camera I was going using the the app for the camera that I'm using so I can see the shot but you know I thought after reviewing the shot I could just run back to the camera and after once you doing this for a while you're gonna know about what your flash power needs to be but this system that I'm gonna show you you really don't there's such a there's such grace with what your flash power can be because this is what I'm why uh, why I'm I shoot with lights off. Okay, let's get back to the uh, first shot here. This is a straight out of camera, everybody. I'm using the windows as my as my soft boxes basically. Okay, a lot of people are gonna disagree with me saying it throw it co creates color cast and everything else. It 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 can. And again, using flash can cause color cast too, depending on how much flash power you put in. The reason why it can cause color casting is because the light coming in, if it's too harsh, depending on what it is, you know, like if you have a lot of green foliage outside and the sun is hit coming through the trees and then into the house, it can cast green onto your walls. It might not be as noticeable with certain wall colors as, as it is with others, but here is the main reason why I do not like to do light on is because now you are having to deal with the blooming effect of the lights and everybody says well if you're using flash you don't have to worry about that well to me it just seems counterproductive like if we're lighting the room why do we need the lights on if you want to show that the lights were on but literally have no luminance effect to it your image then it to me it just is so pointless I don't know what it is but it really is annoying because now most people do not run 5,500 or 5,000 Kelvin light bulbs in their house. And actually, it really, it's not the same as natural light from the sun coming in if you actually go and buy those bulbs. And I know I'm rambling on about this, but this has been a huge game changer for me where I just decided, you know what, this is the way I'm going to shoot. You know, a realtor, if they're new, if they've never used me before, I'll show them my work and they're usually okay with me. I've never, one time I have had a realtor saying, no, I want the lights on. And then I'll just deal with that by overpowering it with my flash anyway. And they literally don't care when I do that. So the results are going to be just about the same, except that we're going to, you know, you have to fight those lights because otherwise, if you don't, they're going to be blooming just like these windows are blooming here. So I just shut the lights off and I can light a dark room, almost pitch black. If there's no windows, it's super easy. You just now your flash is the brightest spot. You don't even need a super high shutter speed. You don't even need that bright of a flash. You just bounce that flash off the ceiling and light the room evenly. Um, and you're not going to be shooting at night. And if you do, God forbid, all the windows will be black. It would look weird anyway. But this is why I've like a lot of people are going to lights off. I mean, it's a whole movement. At least it used to be on Facebook or whatever. If you just search the hashtag lights off gang, there's a whole crew of real estate photographers shooting with lights off. So this is what I do. This is straight out of camera. And I am a, I just created a preset for my camera lens, which is the 9 to 18. I'm shooting on micro four thirds. So this is 18 to 36 or whatever. Okay. And I'm at F4. So that means I'm about F8 as far as depth of field, you know, uh, goes and now so this is what i want to do i and before i get moving any further too so i turn my flash on turn the trigger on everything is on and i'm typically this is how it's been i will take and i've already shown you that umbrella setup 
this is pretty much what I do for both the flash and ambient layer, except for the ambient layer, I'm at 1 16th power about. Really what I'm doing is just sprinkling in a little bit of flash. And again, this is to help with if there is any color casting coming in from that sun. It also just helps to light the room that much more. And that's what I did with this shot. So. This is what it looks like pretty much with just a little bit of sprinkle of a flash. It's not bright enough to cause any shadowing. And then we come over here. This is the flash shot. So you got to know before you move on to your flash shot, really all my flash, all I'm doing is making sure that I can, you know, paint back in with my flash layer, this window and this window. Everything else doesn't matter. We can tone down this one with the flash because if you look, I could have ran up here and popped a flash, but it really wasn't necessary, and you'll see why in a second. But I got this window um, ready to go, and then this one. The one thing you're going to want to watch for, too, is that you're putting enough flash power to it that your window frames here are nice and bright, because if they're dark, it's going to look weird when you go to blend them, because this is what the ambient layer, remember the sun is coming in, so if it's, you know, you got a window view, but the window frame is dark, like the older HDR images look like, where, like the panes of the window were dark, you could totally tell it was just painted in, we don't want that, so you want to make sure that you're putting enough flash power to it, so you're really brightening up, basically what you're doing is you're doing an ambient layer with a little bit of flash, and then a window pull, really, so let's bring both these images into Photoshop now. Okay, once they're into Photoshop, and by the way, I'm using the new Photoshop beta, and you are gonna wanna get this. The, um, what is it called? Where uh, the generative fill, the new generative fill is phenomenal. I'm telling you, for deleting cars out of your drone shots and deleting, say you accidentally left your camera ba bag sitting in the room, it, the, um, the generate a fill option is phenomenal and I'm for the sake of it I know I have tutorials on this but say they didn't want this rug there like this is an Airbnb shoot and tell you what you if you ever shoot Airbnbs you might get some crazy uh, requests for things to be deleted let's just say delete rug here and we'll hit generate now you do need to be connected to Wi-Fi in order for this to work and um just be mindful if you're uh if you are like me you bring your laptop and you try to edit on the road a little bit to you know kind of save time so you don't have to do a ton of work on your way home of course i edit my own photos and i'm sure you do too otherwise you wouldn't be watching this look at that look at this and I, that was real time so it gives you three different options and they're also over here where you can click the, these windows too but look at how good i mean there that looked perfect so it was the second image so if we toggle that on and off I mean, really, you can't even tell that the rug was even there. No one would notice that. It's phenomenal. Um, and say they didn't want this sign here. All right, just for fun, we'll see if it can match the window. What? I don't know. You don't even need to say anything. Say you don't even. Let's just see if it knows to replace the window. Because what it's doing is basically taking information around it. Just as if you were doing either the clone stamp tool or whatever. I don't even know what it's doing. AI is getting scary smart, folks. So let's see what it does. It takes a little bit of time, but literally you could not do it. <laughs> you could not do it yourself that fast, at least before you couldn't. And again, you just toggle back through. That looks even better. And maybe that one's actually the best. Yeah, that one, eh, maybe not. Maybe number two. I don't know. You would never know. So there you go. We can toggle those on and off there. But I'm just going to dump these for now because that's not part of the tutorial. I just wanted to show you that if you've been on the... I waited forever to get this Photoshop beta thinking I didn't need it. And holy cow, I've used it more times than I can shake a stick at at this point. So all I do is create a layer mask and I leave it white. Make sure black is selected over here. Take my brush tool and I like to be... So I like my flow to be at about 5% and I just sit here and lightly paint back in that window view. That is it. I mean, I don't like to do super strong window pulls, but I like to have my ambient, and then we gotta paint that back out. There we go. And I really don't need a ton of window view. I mean, we could maybe, if we wanted to, zoom up here and just get rid of some of this. You know, but see how it starts to darken that window? And because my brush was too big, obviously. And we gotta paint that back in by just switching to white. 
and I mean I'm being finicky here so you don't need it to be you can still see a little bit of the trees in there that's fine and then we just zoom out and I'm just gonna command s to save this that's literally all I do now real quick if you think you had some color cast issues here's a really quick trick to be able to fix color cast issues I would go ahead and flatten this image and now command J will duplicate the layer come up here to image and then adjustments and then down here to match color click on that and then we're gonna click this box that says neutralize so what it'll do is basically neutralizes the colors base uh, depending on what's in the scene and then all I do is kinda play with the fade or or you can drop the opacity but I tend to mess with the fade on this one and we'll hit OK and now if you toggle that on and off you could see that it actually got rid of some of the color cast if you thought there was color cast in there so let's command s let's bring it back into Lightroom and I'm gonna show you my final bump so nothing's clicked really my interior final bump is I punch the blacks a little bit and here's a trick again to hold down option while you slide that black slider and you can see where you're clipping the blacks so that's my personal preference is I like deep rich colors that'll help you know you can and I think I bumped the contrast to like 10 or 12 and again all your presets are gonna be just like starting points but typically you know maybe the uh, clarity some people like the clarity it adds a little bit of a sharpening to it without making it look too sharp and sometimes I bump that sharpness to about 80 so there you go that's a nice clean uh, super fast and I mean again I was talking through this a lot but it literally is bring those two layers in paint back in your windows really quick but again that's why I'm shooting with lights off because just here's some of the more final images here I'll just show you there's a bedroom again I love the natural light coming in just the natural shadows I mean I use flash but you can't really tell you could even bring those highlights down more here's a big open spot now there was a light on in the bathroom but again here is another shot where I stood in this bathroom I shut the light off so I wouldn't be mixing my white balances I almost did let me see if I can show you yeah this was the flash shot and then I came into the room and lit it just as for my window view and so you make sure there's no shadows around anything so when you go to paint it it's super quick and easy but yeah there you go I'm telling you if you're struggling with the interiors trying to get your colors correct and if you haven't been shooting with lights off if you're just like going on throwing every light out in the house it might be your problem it's a lot easier to shoot with lights off remember we're lighting the room anyway why would you turn the lights on it kind of defeats the purpose but again personal preference try it see if it works for you thanks for watching guys see you in the next video